All right, back home again, and more than 3,000 traders at Toy Market are counting their losses after an early morning inferno raised down the market in what traders believe could be a case of arson by suspected land grabbers. All the traders who have suffered the same fate at least three times now want the government to enhance security at the busy market by deploying police officers and installing CCTV cameras to monitor activities round the clock. Lilian Anyango stands next to what until Saturday were her two stalls at Toy Market in Kibra, Nairobi. An inferno that started at 1 a.m. Sunday morning, rendering her jobless after she lost all her stock. This is the third time that Anyango has had to start from scratch after two previous incidences consumed her stock in what she believes is a case of arson, which the government has failed to deal with. <laughs> Anango is not alone. She is among over 3,000 small scale traders who have lost goods worth millions of shillings. The traders say there were threats before the incident and which they hoped police could have dealt with in time. Hata kuna wakati walikuja makena, ile geti ingine, walikuja na petrol bomb, na walirusha, bahati mzuri hivyo kulikuwa na watu. Kabla ya maandamano, iso kwa ilikuwa yungwe. Tulikuwa wea. Mi ni kona four stalls, na usa nguo za kila ina, kwanzia sa watoto, sa watu wakubwa, na kila ina ya nguo. Nimepote sa pesa nyingi, sababu kibanda moja approximately ni 800. So I've lost like three point something. Sisi tunataka pesa ya kuanza biashara na ya kujenga. Na pia DCI wachunguze. Moto ulianzia kutoka maguko chini makina. Ilianza na stall gani? Stall ni ya nani? Masai gani ya nangoja hiyo stall? Na alikuwa wapi wakati moto ilikuwa inaanza? The traders allege that the fire incident could be a plan by unknown land grabbers to move them out of the area. He soko ni aserikali na county government. So muta kitoka maada anasema kona title D, we are doubting that. Because kama muta angekua na genuine title D, atunge kwa hapa. That's why we are sure serikali is mame na sisi kama traders because tegeme yetu ni soko. Kibra Deputy County Commissioner Gideon Ombogi, who led the security team in assessing the destruction at the market, assured the traders of a third probe to bring the culprits to book. Uongozi wa huku ninajua umegawanyika. Kuna wale waliokuweko, wakatolewa, wanadai, walitolewa kinyume cha sheria. Kwa hivu, kuna mambo, mambo, tasa atujui chanzo ni, chanzo ni nini. For now, the traders who have to look for alternative source of cash to start afresh are hopeful that tight security measures will be put in place to protect both lives and property at the busy market whose traders specialize in the sale of clothes.